Good morning, my fellow. Prepared, set, ready, Americans. Now, before I even get into this story from CNN News, let's take a look at the market. It's down sharply today. This is the morning of Thursday, March the 10th. And, well, Uncle Joe's only favorable thing he could talk about before recently was the stock market. Inflation has been, well, pretty bad ever since Uncle Joe assumed the position. Now, he can't even rely on the stock market to boost his numbers. And, well, I know of one person who thought the stock market couldn't go down. They were gambling instead of investing. And right now, because they weren't ready for a downturn in the market, this person is shitting bricks. Don't be like this person I know. If you're going to invest in the stock market, do that. Invest. Don't gamble. Research the company you want to buy into. And if this company drops, well, that's an opportunity to buy more if it's a sound company, isn't it? Let's take a look at this headline, though. Key inflation measure jumps to highest level since January 1982. Somehow I got the feeling this story was written a little while ago because nowhere in it is even mentioned Russia, which is why, of course, I chose this story. If you add in the economic war going on now between Russia and the U.S., well, inflation has gotten even worse than this story talks about. Let's get on, though, with this story. Key inflation measure jumps to highest level since January 1982. Let's go on. Prices kept rising last month in America, pushing a key inflation measure to a level not seen since January 1982. The Consumer Price Index, which measures a basket of goods and services, stood at 7.9% over the 12-month period that ended in February. For those of you with short-term memory losses, these statistics are before the economic war between Russia and the U.S. In fact, if you look at that inflation chart down below, you see that, well, inflation has been Uncle Joe's best buddy ever since he assumed the position. Now let's take a look at one more graph. Gas prices across the U.S. This is important because, well, gas prices drive the price of everything else. How do you think that that TV you wanted to buy got to the store you're going to? How do you think you're going to get to the store to buy the TV? How do you think you're going to get that TV home even if you can't fit it in your car? That's right. All those vehicles, all those transactions depend on gas. And with the gas of price going up, that means all those transactions have to go up with it. And I'm guessing that the deeper the red you see, the faster the prices are going to go up. So that means in states like mine, Hawaii, prices are going to be going up the quickest. You need a new refrigerator? Cash. I keep a fund for just such contingencies. I've been referred to as a sandbagger. I take that as a compliment. Yes, these prices hurt me. They hurt me a lot less, though, because, well, I've always lived below my means. Now, if you're a sandbagger like me, well, you've got a little cushion. 
you see, I believe in paying cash for things. I'll pay cash for my TV, my computer, my smartphone, my clothes, new tires for my car, washer brakes, cash. So there's a little cushion for me to rely on. I am by no means rich. I'm lower middle class, as a matter of fact. With the amount of money I have made throughout my working life, I shouldn't be able to afford the house I'm in. I shouldn't be able to afford the car I've got. I shouldn't be able to afford many of the simple little luxuries that I have. And by the way, I consider things like TVs, computers, and smartphones luxuries. They are. You got a car? That's a luxury. You know what a necessity is? Food. Clothes. A roof over your head. And we're not talking the best food, the best clothes, or the biggest house you can think of. We're talking about basics here. Anything above those basics is a luxury, as I am sure many of us are soon going to find out. If you're a grasshopper and you haven't saved, for that cold, hard winter, don't come knocking on my door. It's locked.